Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday, the 9th of January. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Bonnie, Bill, Ken, good to see you all. Dave, Chuck. All right, good, good, good. Thank you. By the way, I want to do a quick little shout out to uh, Mike C. Uh, Mike C just posted a really, really nice uh, uh, referral on uh, on Facebook. And uh, just like to thank you. Uh, that was really nice of you. Listen, um, those really, really do help. You know, when it comes into the trading industry, just want to kind of remind everyone, I know every, there, there's a lot of schools out there. Nobody knows who to trust and so on. There's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of bad ones out there. And uh, your experience and your feedback to let everybody else out there to know exactly, you know, before they make a very, very big investment to education, uh, you know, is important to us. So thanks again for that, Michael. Michael C., I really appreciate that. And, uh, and for all of you guys to do that. You know, put a post in an article on Google and Facebook. Really, really been helping us. I know I we haven't we have we've done a really bad job of 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 doing that and asking people and and had f fell way way behind. But uh, you know, I think it's uh, now we're just starting to say, you know what? There's a lot of other other schools out there. They're doing better on us on stuff like that. And 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 we're getting a lot more bad feedback from people. You know, and I'm seeing it over again. People are learning from other people. Like you know. Uh, what makes you different than them and this and that. I thought they were good. You know, they're great marketers and stuff like that. So, you know what? Your feedback is very, very important to us. So, appreciate that. No problem. Thanks, guys. So, let's go over and see what happened yesterday. You know what? Yesterday morning was actually, I didn't like the pre-market. I kind of told you that, but I said, listen, things are probably going to change. You know, some things always pop up out of the blue and start coming out um, out of the woodworks. And, you know, it actually ended up being a pretty decent day. There were a couple of nice little moving stocks out there. And I just want to cut, touch upon it. And before we do that, you know, uh, and, and talk about the ones that are moving this morning, just want to kind of cover what actually did pretty well yesterday. So we had a couple of good ones. Um, I'd like to start off with LK. So LK has been really, really good for us. Oh, what happened here? I hate those. I hate error messages. I hate, hate that. Uh, there we go. LK. All right. So LK had a really nice pop yesterday. It went from 34 to 36. Let me fix the time frame over here. Let me change this up a little bit. Uh, give me the time frame here. Yeah, four minute looks pretty good. There we go. So you can see how the stock went from all the way from 34 all the way to 39. Really nice mover. A little bit more of a fast moving stock. Remember the stock that we were watching at 20s. And, um, and literally stock is almost a double. You know, people always look at it and say, hey, did you see what happened with Tesla? You know, yesterday, I mean, people email like Tesla. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. You go buy a full $500 stock. I'd rather go trade a $20 stock. But you could do it just with them. Remember, at the end of the day, you're looking to make money. Great story. Great, great for the market. Great for the industry. You know, market's been doing phenomenal. Look, we're up 100 points already. Remember I told you about all those haters out there? You know, worried about this. And where I told short the damn market. Why are you asking me? If you really think it's going down, short the market. You know, and sure enough, let me tell you, you do not want to stop breaking all time highs. All right. Because that's when the shorts start covering. We all know about short squeezes. But anyway, this stock was a really nice one yesterday. Um, Rite Aid, want to bring that up. Popped at the open and then ran early in the afternoon. You could see that one too, did really well. I know some of you guys, uh, we, we've been trading that when it was at $8, around a little bit to 25 uh, You know, we had a nice little, nice little movement yesterday. A little, little, little volatile, though, for some of us there. F-Cell was phenomenal. Holy crap. Where the hell did that come from, right? And it was moving this morning, too. Um, I put that one on the watch list, on the morning watch list, F-Cell. But F-Cell, I mean, God, look at this thing. 50-cent stock went to almost $3. Look at it yesterday. It just did not stop. I mean, we saw it right around, what was it, one, 210, I think it was. Remember, 220? And then you could have still jumped in and did pretty well. Stock trades, look, 1.4 million shares already traded in pre-market. So um, the only bad thing is it is not, it's not a NASDAQ national stock, which, you know, I'm not a fan of, all right? Uh, SAVA was another one that did, was a nice morning move runner up there. And then obviously the big drop in all the, 
all the, with gold, I mean, you had Nugget and all them. They all took the drop, but that one was also pretty good. So anyway, that's what you missed, you know, for all YouTube and Facebook people watching right now and for all the people that didn't show up for, uh, for Clash yesterday in the trading room. But don't worry. Listen, that's going to the archives. Every day is a new day. So let's start off talking about a couple of things. I do want to start off with some swing trades, though. Okay, so listen, I say this every single time. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be a good day trader, uh, options trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade first, okay? So let's start off with this stock, APA. We did really well with the swing trade on this one. We saw the stock when it broke its support levels right around $20. It went to $22. We had that big gap up, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, that was late December. And then sure enough, we had another big gap up from 126 to 130. So that stock, look where it is now. It's at 130, was it almost 132.70. So that stock has been a good swing trade also. Um, I don't know if you guys jumped onto it, but I know we're doing pretty well on that one. One stock that I'm really ticked off at myself for, and I wish I didn't sell it. But you know what? You hear so many bad rumors about it. Uber. Uber, I don't know if you guys, we haven't checked back on a little bit. Look where it is, guys. It went to, what, 34 bucks. We were trading the stock right around 28, 29. I was getting very skeptical. Stock is, it's its really hard to day trade the stock right here. But you know what? If she, she broke, if she break through that, this resistance level is right around here. Listen, the stock can go in the 40s again. Remember, the reason why we had that big drop, and this is where it kind of freaked me out. Why would the CEO sell, you know, you know, and was it 80, 90% of his profit share? That made absolutely no sense. You know what I mean? Why would, if you loved your company, why would you sell it? Unless he had to resign. I don't know. But you could read the news on it. But there's only stock that is, it was not a very good swing trade for me because I, I got out of it. I tried it. And after hearing the news, I'm like, you know what? Because remember, swing trading is a lot more riskier. Another good day trade that we, uh, swing trade we did pretty well. I don't know if you guys still have it, um, but I still, I'm still holding on to it is this one right here. This one was great. The QGEN. Remember this one? Stock got crushed, went from 41 down to 30. We had a nice little gap up. So um, it was a great day trade. It's not going up as much as I thought it would be, but if it does break this 34, the stock could break out. It could start filling in the gap right there. So that's a good one. So that, that, that goes our swing trades. Let's go hop over here on our day trades. Now, what we got going this morning, we got the VBIV. All right. VBIV, um, this stock, you know, once again, unfortunately, not a NASDAQ national, okay, but uh, it's got some great volatility. There's a 100,000 share. This stock trades a lot of volume. Look at it. 3.5 million shares already traded. I'm, I'm looking there just as a nice iceberg order just came out at buck 80 right there. It's having a tough time breaking it. You can see it. It did it already right around here. Let me fix the time frame on this because this is, doesn't really help us. Looking at a longer term, look, we'll make it into a two minute. Eh, two minutes doesn't even look that good. One minute looks better there. So you have that resistance levels right there, and that kind of explains there's huge sellers sitting out. I have iceberg orders sitting out there uh, right around a buck 80. So if it breaks out, we'll keep an eye on it. AGTC, another one. Here's another one. You can see it's up 52%. It's right over there on the on the biggest percentage gainer of the day. Uh, but I don't know what happened. After 7.30, she's kind of flatlined. She went from $7 to 6.30. She's kind of holding here. Got Once again, great volume. I mean, stock traded 2.6 million shares just in pre-market. Uh, not really seeing a substantial amount of iceberg orders out there. There is something, there's a big buyer at that. I'm looking over here on the level four around 620. You got some little resistance levels at 650, but I'm not really seeing like the tens and the 20,000s, you know? So, you know, we're going to keep, we're going to have to wait. And that probably explains why it hasn't really gone anywhere um, as of right now. Peak, P-E-C-K, another one that came up on the watch list. Okay, so Peak. Come on, buddy. All right, 29. It's up 29 percent. Decent volume, 81,000 shares. Oh, there you go. Actually, a guy just got taken out. By the way, um, a AGTC, whatever happened, it just popped. Let me just go back to it. AG, somebody must be listening to us. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you can see it right there. It just made that little quick little pop right there. See it right there? It just made a little move that one minute. It just ran from 360. It's already at, uh, I mean, at 630. Now it's at 670 now. Started to build some 660. Started making a big pop right there. All right. Peak, another one. Let's bring up that one that I just, uh, 
also I have right here. This stock has a pretty decent buyer right around three dollars. I'm seeing some good iceberg orders right there. The guy's been out there for a little while. Huge buyer right around 280. Okay, I know that's a little bit out of the way, but the only bad thing is breaking lower lows. So let's see right around that support levels. Uh, you, you can see you had some bigger share volumes over here on the on the green than on the red. That one's not bad. Everybody's talking about Bed Bath and Beyond. Now this stock, if you were here after hours, holy crap, this thing was awesome. Okay, so it is down. It's down 12 percent. I'm gonna have to change the chart here. But yesterday, if you if you watch the earnings announcements on this stock, you cleaned up because this stock gapped down or from 1660 down to 12 bucks and then shot right up to 15. Even if you ch if you chased it a little later, you know um, you could have still got it at 1450 and it ran away to 15. But you know this stock was a fun uh, after hours trade. And you could see it really kind of came right down. It was almost kind of, you know, you could see it right there. It was easy. You could have, that's like taking candy from a little kid. But fast moving stock. And uh, you could see stock is <laughs> not, you just be very careful if you're trading this stock this morning. We, we've traded this stock uh, in the past. Two more stocks I got on the watch list. Turn is another one. Oops, spelt it wrong. T R F N. TRFN, not turn. Oh, I spelt it wrong. I'm sorry about it. T U F N. What the hell's wrong with me this morning? There we go. All right. So this stock is taking a very, very big hit. It's down 25%. Um, 70,000 shares. Spreads really, really big right now, which you want to be a little concerned about. And you got a nice little, um, it's kind of holding here once again. As long as it's not a pharmaceutical stock, we know they come back, which it's not. It's a software tech company. She is testing some support levels coming up. That one to keep an eye on. And then the F cell also. And the uh, I'm going to throw the LK on there. That's a pretty big list, for a, for, for a, but that's typically normal for a Thursday. So there's your watch list. That's what we're going to be trading. Now, remember, listen, if you're here for the first time or you've been watching this a few times, that's just what we've been trading so far in pre-market. That's been some of the swing trades have been pretty attractive that we've been doing so far. But like what happened yesterday, it wasn't a good pre-market, but we always, we had to wait until the market opened up. And all of a sudden, we just have a whole a whole new recipe of stocks that came in that made it things a lot more fun to trade. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. So any, by the way, anything I'm missing, anything I'm missing, lift moving pretty, uh, moving pretty well, Charlie's saying. You know what? Regarding about the lift trade, it's not moving as nice as, as Uber. Plus, it's twice, to, almost twice the money, you know, almost you know, well, 30, 40% more. Uh, I was a big fan of Lyft, but I don't know. Keep an eye on it. Maybe uh, maybe it has to do something what's going on in Vegas right now with the, the, the Electronica show. I think they, they kind of show off this, you know, a new Uber flying cars, <laughs> whatever it may be. That'd, be. that'd be pretty cool. Eventually, we're going to be like the Jetsons. Uh, all right, so that, that pretty much uh, does it, guys. Uh, Wayne says just one more. Yeah, listen, I, I know. I, I saw that one also, Wayne. The SNCA is worth watching. Let's bring that back up. It's got a nice little push. got great volume. You know, I, I only kind of thing I didn't like about it is what happened around 8 o'clock. You had that big gap up where it went from like 170. Look at those candlesticks right there. So... That's the only thing I was a little concerned about. But we it's worth watching. You can put it on a second protocol. All right. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we will start commentating about uh, audio commentating over the cyber group room in the next 10 minutes. So uh, if you see something, say something. And then before we go, don't forget today um, I will be doing a presentation on uh, what you might call a multi-speaker event with the Investors Expo. Uh, I'll be going on around 1230. So feel free to register. We'll put that link up there. Go out there, register. And listen, I tell everybody this. You got to listen to a bunch of people, you know, because number one, you get to appreciate. You're going to learn something, but then you appreciate what you're doing is better or if it's the worst. Because there's a lot of people out there that, you know, take training for other people and, you know, they think that that's, that's it. No. Listen, great traders never stop learning. Okay. So always keep that in mind. Good luck today. Happy trading, everyone. And we'll be seeing you in the next 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere.